Mildred's doctor seemed to have given up himself. He said that he had done all that he could do. He said he was sorry about the outcome of it, but that he could not do any more. He said there was just no hope that it would ever be any better. It got the best of me. I wasn't no good to nobody. I just threw my hands up and I started shouting and praising God. I'm healed. In Jesus' name, I'm healed. <laughs> The car accident left Mildred in misery. I was in severe pain. Oh, Lord, from my head to my feet. They took x-ray pictures, and there was a split in the small of the back that separated the vertebrae. And um, the doctor showed me on a spinal part of the back. And he said that uh, there was no way surgery could correct it because there was too much risk involved to try to have surgery. According to her doctor, Mildred's injuries appeared to be permanently disabling. She suffered constant neck, back, and leg pain. Then more symptoms indicating nerve injury was worsening. There was numbness that started occurring in my legs, my arms. Mildred was confined to life in bed and had to rely on her best friend, Martha, to take care of her every need. I had two ice packs. I had to keep one in this area. And then the other lady, Martha, would help me place the other one. I was He put me in a back brace that I had to even sleep in. Um, he put me on a TENS machine to try to keep me from coming to the office so often because of the severe pain. After a year of this existence and regular medical treatment with physical therapy, Mildred's doctor seemed to have given up himself. He said that he had done all that he could do that uh, medically could help me. He said he was sorry about the outcome of it, but that he could not do any more, and that I was going to have to accept it and live with it. He said there was just no hope that it would ever be any better. Uh, it was worse than labor pains. I mean, I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't do anything. Uh, I was just either sitting in the chair or laying in the bed. He had me on bed rest, and um, that was just the way it was going to be, he said. The deteriorating relationship with her son, Jamie, also tore at Mildred's heart. He would cry because I couldn't go out in the yard with him and play, and, you know, it was hurting him. It wasn't only hurting me. It was destroying his life. And he would tell me, Mommy, you're no fun anymore. He says, we don't do anything anymore. And it just, you know, it got the best of me. I was no good to him, so I didn't see why he needed me. I wasn't no good to nobody. In that dark, suicidal frame of mind, Mildred went for the gun hidden in her bathroom. The gun was loaded? Mm-hmm. And what were you thinking at the time? How were you going to do this? Just put it there and end it all. I was no good to anybody, nobody. Her friend Martha found her in time. She knew what I was up to. She's known me a long time, and she knew how down I was, how depressed. And she took the gun away from me and hid it. Mildred plainly needed hope, and more than hope, a miracle soon. She found the possibility for both when she saw success in life with Robert Tilton. He spoke a word of knowledge, and he said, Sister, God's going to heal that back today. Mildred stretched out her hand at Robert Tilton's invitation. She found the first sign of her healing almost by accident when Jamie called out to her from his bedroom. She leaped up from her own bed and ran to his side. When I walked back in here, it's like the Lord just stopped me in my tracks, you know, and he said, Do you realize what you've done? And Brother Tilton was still on the TV screen, and I thought, Oh, Lord. You know, I jumped up out of that bed. I can't do that. It was after attending a church service where God spoke to her to finally accept her healing once and for all that Mildred knew her back healing was finally hers for keeps. Started shouting and praising God, and I've been going ever since. <laughs> Praise God. I'm healed. In Jesus' name, I'm healed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Most gratifying to Mildred is her restored relationship with her son, Jamie. I get to go out with him now, I throw the ball to him. Um, we can go back fishing again if we want to go fishing. We can do everything we ever done before. I pick him up a lot of times and give him those big hugs. <laughs> and I've been going ever since. I got out and I mow the yard and I can move my furniture around. I moved a refrigerator. Um, we just moved a, a piano to the church yesterday. 
uh, I'm doing everything. I'm doing more than I could do before. Mildred has been completely healed of that crippling back injury for over three years. God used him to save my life. And I'll always love Brother Bob because I know the lives that Brother Bob can touch if people will just give him the chance. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15.